Hi, it's Nami and welcome to Mike and Nami Plus. Today's just Nami. I'm going to talk about why Michael and I are choosing or why we have to stop having babies. Um, this third baby is going to be our last one because of my birthing complications. If you'd like like a summary detailed video of my birthing complications, you can see the link right up here. Think around anywhere between five to 10 years and beyond ago. The doctors didn't let women in Korea have more than two C-sections. This will be my third C-section. So in Korea, they actually performed a mandatory tubal ligation during the second C-section because they told you you cannot have any more kids past the two C-sections. So if a lady had five kids and then the last two were C-sections, then they would perform a mandatory tubal ligation, which is basically tying of tubes. I actually had my brother-in-law and my sister do some research for me in Korean forums and Korean medical forums, asking about number of C-sections allowed in Korea today. There are mothers and doctors who do perform and say that they had around five to six C-sections, like C-sections, not just kids, but like the surgeries, like the cutting surgery. And my brother-in-law said it's probably due to medical advancements in technology and also in uh, technique in Korea that actually permits mothers to have more than two C-sections. So in the past, because there was a, a bigger cut made, now the cuts, the C-section scars are around 10 centimeters. There's more space to cut around that. The surgeries that follow after that one who currently have had five to six C-sections. I had heard from my midwife who delivered Galahad that she knew a mother who had nine C-sections and then she knew a, a different woman who had 11 C-sections. I think that's crazy, oh my gosh. <laughs> Not the fact that she had 11 kids. I think that's wonderful. That's like, that's applaudable. However, like, can you imagine how hard it would be for your body to give birth that many times? Each time they make the cut for your uterus and for your abdomen, it has to be an inch bigger because this is the cut. They have to cut around it and then discard this tissue and then sew it closed. And then once you're pregnant again, they have to cut around that and so on and so forth. You can imagine how big it can get. My mom only had one c-section and that was with me. Um, her c-section scar is around this big. Mine is this big. You can see how much the technology has changed um, to be able to perform the surgery in a more uh, minuscule scale and to increase recovery time as well. However, if you can imagine if my mom had a c-section scar that's this big it's literally like almost her whole abdomen if she had another c-section they would have to cut around that and that scar would grow this big and so there's no other space to cut around it for her to have more children or for any woman who've had this type of c-section done in korea they wouldn't be able to have more than two kids and that's why i think the doctors performed a mandatory tubal ligation during the second c-section to ensure that uh, they wouldn't have to cut even further than that for me i think there wouldn't be as much of a risk to have more than three c-sections i think biologically and also medically michael and i both think that it is a flag of caution for us to take in terms of my body especially because a surgery is not a natural thing it's not eating certain foods with certain nutritions that can help fight certain infections in your body. It's not sleeping right and exercising. Surgery is like literally you're cutting and you are performing a surgery. You're like altering something in your body forcibly with tools. And because this is my third C-section and long time ago in Korea, they only let you have up to two C-sections. I still think I can have more than three C-sections just because my incision is not that big um, right now. I can show you. Okay, let's just show you my belly bump. <sighs> my scar sits right at my waistband, like right at the um, area you would uh, wear your pants. And it's around. You can't really see because I have like <laughs> clothes markings. It's around this big. I'll say like 13 centimeters almost. 
Oh, I'm like tired from that. My belly's getting too big. For us, I think we'd rather in the future adopt children and open up our home for foster care. Um, just because there's already so many children in the world who don't have parents and who don't have proper access to care. I think Michael said there's something like 200 million orphans. UNICEF estimates approximately 153 million children worldwide who are orphans. I don't think we think it's selfish to have your own children. I think that is also a blessing. It is a calling. However, um, I think Michael and I both have a heart to serve children who are already out there as orphans. For the third C-section as well, we are planning to have the tubal ligation performed as well. I'm gonna guess that this third C-section will take longer of a recovery time than um, the second one did. So those are our plans for our future um, family situation, medically and also in our hearts and in our hopes as well. If you have any questions that you would like us to address, please let us know in the comments of this video. If you like this video and you would like to see more, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you're notified right when new videos drop. That's usually the time that we do take to reply to your comments and we will see you next time. Bye!